Alrighty guys, we're back from town. I had to run and get air filters for this D5 uh, this morning. So I'm getting here at about 10 o'clock. Uh, I got here at about 10 o'clock. I spent the last, oh no, a half hour, 40 minutes getting this thing ready to go. Yeah, it's been an hour. So it's 11 o'clock now. I'm gonna get going on this. What I gotta do today is I gotta finish up where I was at yesterday. I gotta get all this topsoil out of the way so that I can continue cutting the road down through here. And I gotta go get a flag and put a flag in right down there so that I know where I'm at. So the first thing I need to do, I need to come through here and strip all this topsoil back and get it out of the way because it's some nasty stuff. And then I got to come down through here and cut a lot of this good dirt out to shove off into here as much as possible. And that's probably going to take me the rest of the day today because of how long we've been farting around with this thing. So I'm going to get the pickup down there alongside the road out of the way. And then uh, we'll just go from there. I'm going to probably end up... Let's see here the next transformers right up over there so i'm gonna probably end up having to strip all this back here out up to that probably that tree so that i can get down into that good good rocky material to start casting it out this way i got my the phone line is still marked and uh i don't have rippers i actually i might just give them a shot and see if one cylinder is enough but um phone line runs right up through here so i got easy probably almost 20 feet out that way that i can work around the phone line and then the phone line goes straight straight down right underneath where i want to be i'm going to go down and stand that flag back up and i want to bury it i want to bring that down there up at least a foot or so and then god willing tomorrow it'll be drier I can finish cleaning up this mess. I got I got to finish yesterday and start today, and I got probably four and a half, five hours to do it. So you guys are probably going to see a lot of time lapse today, is what I'm saying. wasn't any point having you guys down here if you couldn't see anything or I'm up working so this right here is one of the reasons why I want to try to have all all this road bed done before uh, it rained last night so we got a really good rain <clears throat> up where I've been filling the water got down in it and saturated it really good right here where I'm gonna be cutting to try to fill the water had didn't get down at all it didn't even get down in it <clears throat> So I was hoping to have all this fill filled out or a good chunk of it so it could get good and saturated in that five hours of rain we had last night. And that would have done wonders for the roadbed. But that's not the case. So just have to keep going the way we've been going here. So I got what the road does is it comes down steep and then it flattens way out on this little point on this ridge they have in their field so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to work that ridge out and i'm going to try and bring a good chunk of it down in around the corner here so i'm still stripping the topsoil from yesterday i'm trying to bring it down the hill as far as i can and i'm just going to kind of bring it down here get the road built and then when i get the road built at the end of the day i'll come in and i'll fill the i'll put the cast the topsoil out into the field to 
to kind of work with the grade of the road because what what's going to happen is if I don't do that then the road's going to be the lowest point and it's going to turn into a ditch for water going down this way and I don't want to do that what I want to do is I want to come down and as it comes down I want it to shed the water off into the field and the water to go that way and then that way out into the orchard versus continuing down the direction that it's been going because that's what it's been doing is it'll come around and then right here all this water goes this way and then it hits the driveway and heads on down until it can finally find a point where the shoulder's low enough that it can go off the road so i can't do very much down here because there is a high voltage power line there but i can do quite a bit right here in this area to take care of that and that's what i was trying to do yesterday and i didn't get very far so we'll finish her off today um god i'm glad to have the five the five just moves so much more dirt than that 650 does and it's just got a bigger blade and it can it just pushes through it so much better so i figure we got probably close to a solid hour to two hours of pushing just in this spot before i can really even start pushing any of it down the hill i'm gonna be here late tonight good thing i went and got fuel this morning when i was getting all that other stuff
We got the five fixed up, back up and up operational. I ran the blade back and forth a few times. It seems to be working okay. I'm gonna get the excavator the heck out of the way, clean up my tools, and we'll get back to pushing some dirt. Thank you.